Hey guys, it's Joanne. Welcome back to Backyard Farmer Crafts. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I know I haven't been on in a while, but I am starting off the new year with trying to get back on here um, and share some, some content with you guys. So the first thing I did after my husband fixed a couple of the lights here in the craft room that went out, um, I got a new ring light. So it's a 10 inch ring light. Um, I had one before it only came with a light, so I really wasn't able to maneuver it and figure out how to get it to, to work um, properly. So I got this one off of Amazon. I think it was 30 something. It was either 30 or 40. I'm thinking it was probably closer to 30. I can put the link or I will put the link um, down below. Um, I guess the brand is Joyzer, J-I-O-Z-E-R. And it does come with the light um, and it comes with, you know, comes nicely packaged here, the 10 inch ring light. So let's see, let's see that there so you guys can see the name. It comes with a little instruction sheet that doesn't really tell you too much. It advises you how to put up the, the stand, which I'll include a little video of that once um, I'm done here. And then it comes with all these different little doohickey attachments. I'm not exactly sure um, what they're for. Um, maybe this is a selfie, one for the selfie stick, because the pole from the tripod does come off and you can use that as a selfie stick. So I guess eventually we could walk around the house and make some recordings. I don't know. This one here, I'm not sure what this is either. This is a little heavier and it's like a swivel. Well, it tightens. All right, so you loosen it and it swivels. So I'm not quite sure what I would do with that. And there's another one here, which is very similar. All right, so this one has the attachment either here or here. I kind of like the one I have on there now. I have the one, it's in the middle of the ring light and it looks like that, this one here. And then that pole, that little um, attachment pole, that bends. Um, and then I put one of the, or no, it came with a, it came with another, yeah, it came with a holder on top of that. So that's how it is all hooked up now. Look, here's the lighting, all right? So it's not on right now. So we have, if we put it on, so this is our brightness. I guess that's the white light. So it says white light. Um, and then it goes, I have it up the highest. It does dim down. And then that's the brightest that it will go. And then we can also do the natural light. And the same thing, it's on the brightest. So we can dim that down a little bit. It's just got to like play with your settings, right? And then this would be the warm light. And again, high and low. Um, but we're going to leave it on the white light because um, we like that one. Um, it also comes with this, um, this little button here. So I did set this up. It was easy peasy. I will also include that um, in the video once we're done talking. It is like a remote control that will um, either take the picture or start and stop the video. Isn't that great? So you don't have to like, you know how everyone, you gotta like lean over, but not everybody leans over. And that could be because they have this button. So this is a really neat, it has an on and off switch. It, like I said, it was super easy to um, hook up to your phone. And it does have, it has a thing. So it's probably like one of them button, button batteries. It hooks up to your phone. Hopefully it doesn't take all this kind of information. You know, you gotta worry about some of these things. Oh, but never mind. Anyway, <laughs> forget I said that. So perfect, um, perfect ring light, I think. Um, I'm gonna get used to using it. I am also going to start redoing my whole area here so that it's a little bit more cohesive with my style. It's nicer to look at right now. It's just a hot mess. And, um, you know, eventually I'm going to give you like a before and after kind of thing, but not right now. I'm just going to take a little bit of time each day, get, get it to look into how I want it to. And then I will be back here, um, filming for you guys. Um, maybe some card making, some sublimation, 
um, uh, you know, vinyl, um, vinyl projects. Mm, thinking of getting a little bit back into the paper crafting and the happy mail circuit. Oh, excuse me. I kind of got out of that for a while. So, so we'll see. I just feel like this year I want to get back down here and back creating, which, you know, makes me happy, makes, makes us all happy that are, you know, on here and watching. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, just stay tuned. I've got, I have two little clips coming after this and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, if you don't mind, please subscribe and always like the video if you can and have a great day. Thank you so much. Okay, so here is the ring light on the tripod. Let me just turn this off real quick. Okay, and that way it's not um, blinding you. The ring light itself is says 10.2 inches. This is the piece that I was referring to. This bends and then this turns, you know, either way, depending on how you want to hold your phone for whatever type of recording you're doing. And then the pole and then the tripod. So the pole does release from the tripod down here. Um, I'm going to say the poles maybe, maybe total is like five feet from the bottom to the top. That is as high as it'll go. Um, so probably about five, five feet, which isn't bad. It, you know, reaches over the desk or it'll stand up and do whatever we need it to do. So overall, I guess I'm pretty impressed with this, uh, with this light, guys. All right. Thank you so much for continuing to watch one more little clip after this to show how we got that button working. Have a great night. Have a great day. Sorry.